In peripheral tissues, ammonia is safely transported to the liver mainly in the form of free ammonia is highly toxic, especially to the brain. So, our body never lets it float around freely in the blood. Instead, it's locked up in a non-toxic carrier molecules. In peripheral tissues, ammonia combines with glutamate to form glutamine, catalyzed by glutamine synthetase. Glutamine travels to blood, which is the liver. Glutaminase converts glutamine back into the glutamate and free ammonia, which then enters the urea cycle for detoxification. In muscles, ammonia combines with pyruvate to form alanine. Enzyme is alanine aminotransferase. Alanine travels to the liver, where it converts back to pyruvate and ammonia. Ammonia to urea and pyruvate to glucose by gluconeogenesis in liver. This glucose again goes to muscle where it is converted to pyruvate and pyruvate to alanine again. This is called glucose alanine cycle. This elegant transport system ensures no free ammonia circulates protecting CNS from toxicity. So glutamine and alanine are not just amino acids. They are the safe vehicles for nitrogen transport between tissues and liver. So here answer is glutamine.